What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to install Kodi on your non-jailbroken device. Now you're going to need two things. You're going to need the iOS app signer and you're going to need the Kodi dev file, the latest version. I'll have the links for those in the description. You also need Xcode as well. So. The first thing you want to do is select create a new Xcode project. Once you do, you want to select application under iOS and then single view application, click next, and then give yourself a product name. I'm just going to type Cody there. Organization name should just be your name and the organizational identifier should already be populated. Select Swift Universal, just like I have it here. Click create. And now you'll see this screen. Now. This is where you can run into some issues. You may see a little button that says fix. You want to select your team and that's going to be a provisioning profile that you have that you can log into. You may have to click add and then log in with your Apple ID. You don't need to pay for this. That's the thing. You don't need to pay for a developer account. If you get this little thing that says fix issue, then just click fix issue and that should resolve things, code signing issues and things of that nature. So. Um, once you have that squared away, that's really the biggest hurdle to get past. Once you have that squared away, you want to go up to the product menu and obviously you want your iPad or iPhone or whatever you're using connected to your device. And then you want to select destination and then choose that device. I have my iPad selected here. This is my iPad pro. And now you want to go back to your home screen or sorry, your desktop. You want to open up the iOS app signer and then you want to select browse and then you want to select your dev file for Kodi, which we downloaded in the first step and then just double click and now you want to choose the provisioning profile and that should be the one we just created for that bundle id so jeff Kodi. all right and then just click start and now you want to click save and that will save that to your desktop basically what this is going to do is create an ipa file from the dev file and that allows you to install that using Xcode on your target device. In this case, an iPad Pro, not jailbroken, obviously. All right, so it's going through this whole configuration thing. And if I haven't explained this 100% correctly, please correct me if you will. Uh, but I think I got this down here. So you see the IPA file there. And now we're gonna open up Xcode. Now we're gonna click where it says window and then click devices select our device, the iPad Pro, and then click the little plus sign there, and then select your IPA file. And that's going to deploy that file or that application to the target device, in this case, iPad Pro. Now, this was not my original tutorial. I actually took this from the Cody forums. Shout out to Dan the Man 827 He's the one that originally came up with this, but I thought a video would be warranted so you guys could see this thing happen in real time in front of your face. So there we go, folks. This is Cody running on a non jailbroken iPad Pro. So I'm going to stream some live television using my handy little HD home run box. What are you going to use it for, folks? If you want more information, check out the description. Of course, the links, the download links will be in the description as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.